I'm Rui. Uh, I'm from Porto in Portugal. I'm 26 years old. Uh, I work uh, as a producer, music producer and DJ for about uh, seven, eight years. Um, my career, my musical career starts as a, as a drummer, uh, as a kid. And uh, I grew up uh, playing drums. Also, I learned how to play guitar. Um, and uh, all that knowledge uh, made me uh, use into my uh, electronic music uh, productions. Uh, yeah, I started uh, to play in some small events as a DJ. Uh, and afterwards, I, I tried to, to make my music better and better. My artist name is No Expression. Um, it's funny because I was studying Portuguese with a, f a friend uh, because I'm Portugal and I needed to study for Portuguese tests. And uh, the book was called Expressions, but in Portuguese means expressões. Uh, so I added the word no before and I ended with no expression. I want to talk about my first ever uh, Suave release, Crashing Down. Uh, it was a transaction from Trap. I used to make Trap for about two years and I decided to do my first house track. So I approached uh, MKJ, which is also a well-known Suave producer. Um, and I had this idea with Spinner Sunny and we decided to make our idea, which was Piano House. Uh, into some more dynamic house with uh, a saxophone, uh, which MKJ added. Uh, he also bring up the, the vocals, so uh, we joined forces and uh, basically Crashing Down was born. Yeah, I made Trap for about two years, as I said, and I felt like I needed to do something new, something fresher. Uh, I wasn't feeling trap anymore, so I decided to change uh, some of my uh, production uh, ideas and maybe uh, test myself if I could produce in uh, another genre uh, or if I only was able to, to make trap. Uh, and yeah, I felt like uh, I could do more than trap and I could like um, test myself to the limits of my production skills. That track was my kickoff for Suave. After that, I released more like 10, more than 10 songs, I think. Uh, I'm also an A&R for Suave. Uh, I work as an A&R for uh, two years, more than two years now. Um, and yeah, uh, I have like a lot of experience, uh, background with music, also uh, talking to artists, uh, managers, writers, top liners, uh, yeah. I think uh, right now I'm at a point that I can, uh, I feel confident about uh, what I do as an A&R and also as a producer. I think I can separate things, uh, like I can appreciate a different genre uh, or track from an, a different artist and I can sometimes compared to my music or compared to other big artists' music, so I have like a point of comparison. Uh, and yeah, I can appreciate all kinds of music, all the genres, uh, from even outside suave styles like pop, rock, uh, a bit of uh, even art style. So yeah, I can enjoy a bit of everything. So. I can, even I don't listen to, for example, art style every day, I think I can uh, listen to an art style song and know, no, this is good, this is a nice song, this can be a banger on a festival, people, the crowd will go crazy. Yeah, I think I have, from all these eight years, I, I have that uh, sensations about that a song can really make a presence. I mean, every music has pros and cons, so I think uh, some song is really catchy and it's more for radio, uh, so other music it's more powerful and will work better on a festival, for example. Um, yeah, I think that's how it works, really. Um, I 
think uh, each song has a different uh, inspiration process. I mean, uh, sometimes I base my uh, coming song based a bit on the song before. Uh, sometimes I'm just bored of making the same style and I try to make something really new. So I search for uh, some unique sounds to, to make uh, the track really pop out and be uh, different standing up for the listener. Um, I think that's the, the base I have. Uh, I try to make the track uh, as catchy as possible. Uh, every song uh, has like a different process behind, uh, like the artist uh, thought that song in a such way and sometimes uh, the song needs to fit also suave, so uh, sometimes we need to change the track so it can fit uh, what we think and what we believe it will work out in the end or it will be better for the track uh, with us on suave. So yeah, sometimes we need to do some production changes in order to fit us the best way as possible. In some tracks, I really appreciate more and uh, it really uh, like stands out for me. It's the, the instrumental and on other tracks, it's the lyrics and vocals itself. Like it really makes sense for me, uh, but I think I like uh, music from uh, the, the global, you know? So uh, the full thing combined together, um, needs to make sense for me um, unless it's probably gonna be a quick listen I think. I think the lyrics are as important as the vocalists uh, I think uh, personally if like uh, an instrumental is like chill uh, sometimes uh, a chiller vibe will fit there, a chiller vocalist uh, so that's I think that's the priority and then we can think about uh, which lyrics would make sense for this vibe here. Uh, so uh, for Suave, for example, uh, for a chill house track, uh, I think uh, a really sweet voice uh, and calm uh, will fit nicely there. And after that, we can think about which ly lyrics would be the best, like uh, happy lyrics, uh, something happy, something sad. It can work uh, either way, maybe we can uh, Sometimes I receive a top line and I just change my production or start from scratch based on that top line uh, idea. So uh, if, if it's really energetic, I'll probably do an energetic track like Slap House or EDM to fit that uh, top line uh, the best way as possible. Yeah.